Selin Jen Jongi Batanat Pam Kid Di Jongi Tanga Jongi Tanga Jongi Tanga Kosi Yesu Zubena Ten Kosi Ngoi Trinu Ning Nen Kosi Ngoi Trinu Mama Trinu Mama Trinu Mama Dalan Repa Kwa Kuku Dala Di Vungu Malan Di Pupu Malan Di Nuku Chuala Malingena Nam Di Funu Kucheba Jengen De Cheka Cheba Trini Beni Ya Kuku Tanga Kuku Tanga Kuku Tanga Analit Masha Lo Chila Nisaza Muku Pila Mtualo Wa Mu Ya Sinda Sisi Saka Mampinja Hekla Bini Babuza Bana Di Sela Ntoni Diti Everything Everything Aifani was born with Aifani Boltina on the 20th of November 1985 in the beautiful Mtata of the Eastern Cape and was raised in the areas of Motherwell and New Brighton in the city of Port Elizabeth where he attended Chapman High School and Etembeni Enrichment Center where he moved on to enroll at Rhodes University achieving his honors in computer science and computer engineering so it's pretty evident that the young Aifani was the most definitely a bright and intelligent student who had a higher level of education than most MCs in the game. He then went on to work for SAB Miller where he worked as a process control engineer and during this time is where he got himself involved in the hip hop world where he was involved in the underground rap battle scene after he was finished with his shift from his daytime job. This is also where he picked up his iconic name Aifani which was heavily inspired by his grandfather and his own name was Aifani. Uh, I finally the latest uh, I, you are a phenomenon like you know when Biba uh, came out yes. and he was the Beep because he was that thing he was a thing mm -hmm. I finally is a thing <laughs> but a good thing yeah. you know um, yeah. I hear a couple of people saying that you are also South Africa's two chains Hey, he has a band where I tell uh, Yo, I hear 2 chains. I hear South Africa's Buster Rhymes I hear South Africa's Lil Wayne uh, I hear South Africa's Ludacris So, a band where I tell This is when he decided to level up his music career and went on to release his first single, Ola Haters which YFM was quick to add the tune on the Hot 9 chart and got his name buzzing in the pop scene prompting him to release his classic second single Airway, which dropped in 2010. Now, I'm not exaggerating when I say this song was everywhere, from the radio stations all the way to the channels like MTV Bass and Place Urban. And it was pretty clear at this point that this artist was very unique. What you do now like what are the differences between those worlds now well um i enjoyed the engineering work but at that time like i said that i believed that everything i was doing i needed to achieve more you know i needed to go up the corporate ladder then i was going to be happy and get all this mm -hmm. money mm -hmm. but then i was like my heart is not here you know yeah. I, i'm getting the money i'm buying the cars but i'm not satisfied inside whereas music now that's joy for me you know, every time I'm in studio, I'm spending long hours. I'm going home at 6 a.m. in the morning because I'm doing something I love. And by 2012, after releasing his single, Sea Live, he eventually signed to the Sony Music Africa. And this song even went on to grab a nomination for the best song at the South African Hip Hop Awards in 2012. He then went on to dominate the hip hop scene, releasing songs like the classics Millie and Shake. And honestly, I find it so hard to believe these bangers came out almost a decade ago. Also, side note, I must give props to Aifani's creative music videos. They were almost like comedy sketches with bright colors or funny shots happening during the videos and were highly entertaining to watch. <laughs> He then went on to release his highly anticipated 13-track debut album, I Believe In Me, 
which was part of his four quadrant plan where he stated he'd only be dropping four albums in his career. And the song Mili even went on to be nominated for the Song of the Year and Best Video at the 2013 SA Hip Hop Awards. Even his album I Believe in Me was nominated for Best Album of the Year Award and all of these nominations contributed to him finally being nominated for the Most Valuable category at the same award show. Now I know he didn't walk away with anything at this award show money, but it definitely proved that he was an artist capable of bringing in massive numbers and supporters showcasing how serious of an artist he actually was. <laughs> Yes, shout out to Sony, uh, Black Sugar. And the Nagy boat, and the Nagy jet, and the Nagy man seen in the rent flat. Zang and then the Coke, the Coke cum gi dash. Zang and that can die treat and the ultra mel. And the guy be rich, this a poop a chap, this a push and I'm a mama woo. Utu fu, noon the last a look, 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 ya rock a look. Utu fu, ni space, send the astronaut, astronaut. Utu in buza yo peace and the tanga look, look, look. When you got candy, guy, kaba joke. Hey, you, how you doing in the backseat? Even in the next year, the Tosa rapper continued to pick up attention from his nominations for Best Male Artist, Best Music Video, Best Newcomer and even the Best Hip Hop Album all happening at the Metro FM Awards in 2014, continuing his run as one of the top artists in the industry. At the 2014 South African Music Awards, he was nominated for Newcomer of the Year and finally he walked away with the Best Rap Album beating Altido's All of Me and Cuesta's Dakar Project and the rapper even had an impressive live performance alongside Mr. White Chukucha's Uhud. I'm just trying to double up, triple long days just to make my money double. If you want to make a million, then you make a thousand, then a hundred thousand. Do the same thing till you have half a million. Just before you know it, before you got it. Days, cause I'm trying to make a melee, melee, Mali Chiki Vili, melee, the Yaku. Right down my tears, dry up my face. You were right about my bliss, but pain on your face. By the 29th of April 2015, the MC dropped his next project of the same title, I Believe in Me, Second Quadrant which shocked the nation when it was announced that the project somehow went certified gold on the same day of its release. Now don't get me wrong, I find he was considered to be a big artist at the time, but to accomplish this didn't feel genuine and many people were left rubbing their heads about how this was achieved. One artist who also couldn't see this accomplishment being possible for a rapper like Ifani was indeed AKA and this is when this beef all really started. Okay. Right where we left it off. Okay. Remember when everything was stolen and yes. I start again yes. and then it was just a dream. Just yes. something that would make me feel nice if it happened. Okay. You know? So now I'm going to tell Paul from Sony yes. and I let him know, listen Paul, I have this dream and I want to go gold on the first day. He was like, really? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's exactly what I want to do. Yeah. He was like, I finally, if that's what you want, you have all our support. So I went to the office and they round up the whole team. This okay. has, had never happened to me at Sony before. Okay. They round out the entire team. Uh -huh. They sat down and they said, listen guys, I finally want to go gold on the first day. Mm. I want everyone to bash their heads against the wall and come up with all brilliant ideas. I finally will come back here tomorrow and I want to hear all these ideas. I could hate haters, I could hate haters, I could hate haters. I could hate haters, trust me, it's easy. You really wanna crucify me, delete me. When all of these people came here to see me. I can hate haters, trust me, it's easy. But they need me, like you need me. Pull it.
Ben Sando von Wapuji, Zezo Zipek and the Zezo von Wapuji, Bango Satana, yes, Bama Puna Puna, but Bazo Tibas, Dula Dul, and in the cash, Shikab and Kalul Kakesh, when Kalekom was a crash, and Kwabo came and I'm dash. Just, and I just have to say They need me Like you need me 